Right, here's good old chat GPT. Write me a 500 word story about a magic car. Go. While it's writing that, I want to tell you about Grok with a Q. Not Grok with a K, Elon Musk's AI system. Grok with a Q was founded in 2016 by Jonathan Ross. No, not this guy, this guy. He used to work for Google, and then while everyone's been pining over NVIDIA and their AI computer chips, he started Grok with a Q to focus on making his own. And quite understandably, he had a, a hard time convincing people that his AI chips could blow NVIDIA's out the water. I mean, they're NVIDIA, they've been making computer chips for over 30 years. No one can top them, right? All right, let's give Grok with a Q a go. Write me a 500 word story about a magic car and go. What? <laughs> it's finished already. <laughs> Uh, let's fast forward to ChatGPT a bit. And here is ChatGPT lolloping across the finish line like a drunken giraffe. I can't believe I'm dunking on something that's changed the world forever already. And the results are in. 110 and a half seconds for ChatGPT. 3.67 seconds for Grok. That's over 30 times faster. Right, so that was the start of the video I released just before I went away on holiday. And as I sat there in the airport drinking an overpriced but delicious pint at 9 a.m., the comments started coming in. This is a pointless comparison. This video is crap. You're not comparing like for like. You messed up, dude. This video made my nan cry. Well, sorry, random internet person's nan, but I mean, like, get your priorities straight. With comment after comment pouring in, eating away at my self-worth, I made the decision there and then to pull the video so I wasn't getting bombarded with snarky comments while I was on holiday. It was getting killer engagement, though. Maybe I should say more controversial things. Not only is Star Trek better than Star Wars, Stargate is better than Star Wars because Stargate is awesome. Indeed. Now, the reason people were getting upset, and quite rightly so to be honest, is that while it is an indeed an amazing comparison of speed, it was like comparing a paper aeroplane to the jet that took me on holiday. You see, ChatGPT is a private, closed system that runs its own trained large language model. Large language models are what you end up with after you've trained all your AI on everything you can throw at it. And then everything you ask is run against this static model to spit out the answers. The technical geeky name for this is inference. And it takes a huge amount of processing power to crunch through all the data in order to give your answers. So while ChatGPT is private and run by OpenAI, you get free open source large language models such as Llama 3 from Meta. Llama 3 is a trained model that anyone can download and run on their own computers. It's about 40 gigabytes to download. Llama 3 is what was used in the Grok demo that you just saw. Now, in terms of size, you measure large language models in terms of the number of parameters they were trained on. Don't worry about what parameters mean, it's just a relative number for comparing them. Llama 3 from Meta was trained on 70 billion parameters, and while ChatGPT hasn't publicly stated their number, it's thought to be nearly 1.8 trillion parameters. So at its core, ChatGPT is over 25 times more complex than Llama 3. So you can see the comparison I made was indeed pretty rubbish and unfair. So back to the point of the video, I wanted to show how fast these new AI chips from Grok are. And in order to do that, we need to compare Llama 3 running on standard computer chips to Llama 3 running on the Grok chips. So here's Llama 3 with its 70 billion parameters running directly on Meta's own powerful servers. Write me a 500 word story about a car. And here it is again, running on Grok. I know you've already seen it, but I wanted to do the double take face again. Screw it, I'm doing a triple take face. <laughs> Classic. So on Meta's own servers, the people that made Llama 3, it took 17.12 seconds compared to Grok's 3.67. That's over four and a half times faster still. But granted, not as impressive as the first demo, but as we've established from someone's nan on the internet, that was lies. Just as a further comparison, I downloaded Llama 3 and ran the same prompt locally on my own computer and it took 318 seconds. So Meta's data center is over 18 and a half times faster than running it on my own pretty powerful PC while serving a load of other people. And Grok is over four and a half times faster than Meta's servers. So how's Grok? a company you've probably never heard of, making the servers of Meta 
the seventh largest company in the world, look like dinosaurs already. Well, as of right now, the best devices for running AI models on are GPUs, or graphics processing units, basically like graphics cards you have in your PC. These are much faster at AI tasks than normal computer CPUs because they run processes in parallel rather than being optimized for sequential processing. That was a technical demonstration. ChatGPT and virtually all other AI models, including Llama 3 running on Meta that you just saw, all run in data centers full of GPUs. Grok isn't its own AI model, but runs others, like Llama 3, on its own special custom-designed chips called LPUs, or language processing units, which are designed and optimized purely for the types of tasks used in machine learning models which power modern chat systems. So it's all very good and well having faster AI responses, but what actual benefits does it give? Well, as well as reducing the time you have to wait for an AI to answer, which gives users a better and more fluid experience, you can use the extra time to do more things, such as cross-check answers for accuracy, or you can chain queries together to do much cleverer stuff in the same amount of time. I'll give you a real-world example. I recently started a software company that uses AI to help IT technicians solve support tickets faster. I'll make a video on it if anyone's interested, but it might make your nan cry. In my software, in the same time that ChatGPT can rank a list of previously solved IT tickets for relevance, Llama 3 running on Grok can rank them, I can then pull out all the information for those top tickets, and Grok can evaluate them and suggest fixes that have previously worked in a similar scenario, all faster than ChatGPT can do the initial task of ranking the tickets. That's a whole load more work and utility in no extra time. Now, don't get me wrong, GPT has proven itself to be much better when it comes to understanding and generating content, but for the tasks I'm running, Llama 3 is more than qualified. Unfortunately for me, Grok isn't yet taking paid customers, but when they do and I roll it out, it'll be a huge leap in the evolution of my software. Now, I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but my software's good now, people are paying for it, but an upgrade like this will blow everyone away. So, in summary, until the likes of Nvidia catch up, and I'm sure they will, Grok has the potential to revolutionize the speed of AI. As it gets faster, more efficient and cheaper, AI will start finding its way to be interwoven into more and more of our everyday lives. I think it's incredible to watch all this unravel in front of our eyes in such a short space of time. I know I've said this before, but technology is increasing at an exponential rate. What's previously taken the human race 50 years to accomplish, we're now accomplishing similar things in six months to a year. So if you want to keep up with all this kind of stuff, please subscribe to my channel, Yachty Laboratories hit the subscribe button, and if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It tells YouTube that it's a good video and it will show it to more people and that will help me build the channel. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon.